Welcome to the Pokemon Uprising. I'm your leader, the Defy One, aka Sheriff to Queen Four, and today I'm bringing you the third episode. Third episode of our Pokemon Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. And I actually, like, okay, well, apparently my antivirus software wanted to update. Real professional, real professional. So, anyway, we are going to do a little recap. Basically, all that we ha uh, we did was we got to Melt Moon. Like, we beat Brock last episode, and we managed to get through him. And we also got one capture along the way, which happened to be Venom the Paris. And it has decent attack stats, decent special, it's decent all around, right? So anyway, we are just going to go into Mount Moon. And we're going to first see what capture that we get. Like, it is randomized, so you never know. But considering that it is randomized, I do want to keep Baldi in front. And I had TM12, which I can't remember exactly what it does. And it contains Water Gun, which none of the Pokemon that I have are capable of learning. And we're going to see what our encounter and we get ourselves a Jigglypuff. Okay. Okay. Jigglypuff's okay this gen. It, I mean, it's okay, but like, there are so many good Pokemon, like, much better Pokemon. It's just. And this gen is acceptable because it has such a wide variety of moves, as most normal type Pokemon do have. Like, this was this was actually prior to the fairy typing being introduced, because that's just new anyway. Uh, Jigglypuff the Balloon Pokemon. When its huge eyes light up, it sings a mysteriously soothing melody that lulls its enemies to sleep. Do I want to give... Okay. 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 Since it puts its enemies to sleep, you are going to be named Bieber, you Powder Puff. And we're going to grab ourselves another potion. Okay, so we have two level 7 Pokemon to train up before the gym anyway. So we're just going to go fight this trainer. And we're fighting a Dragonite. Well, look look how helpless this Dragonite is. He absolutely did nothing to us. And you're going to bring in a Chansey, which I think is best for me to just stay and go for Bind. Because, I mean, Chansey is so bulky physically. Like, it's... I mean, specially. Specially. Especially in this gen, like, I mean, it's just absolutely incredible how, like, strong this thing is. Like, it doesn't seem like I'm doing all that much, but that's probably because even though Chansey's only level 11, it probably has, like, 80 HP already. But that's what it comes down to, really. But that's just the way Chansey is. Uh, what can you do? I mean, at least in this gen, it doesn't have the Eviolite boost, which gives a, a one and a half times boost to both its special defense and its physical defense, which would be an absolute nightmare. It would actually be usable offensively, like if, an, if such an item existed in this gen, gen, if you could actually hold items. Like, I mean, it would boost it special, it could actually use special attacks and be useful. Which would be quite impressive, I must say. She's packing a Raichu. She is not messing around. What is with these trainers and all of their such powerful Pokemon? Okay, you went for Growl, that's, that's fine by me, you're much faster than me. Because Raichu is one of the fastest Pokemon in this gen, actually. I know Jolteon's much faster, but I'm just going to speed up through this, because it's just boring. Okay, so I beat her. I'm actually going to switch into Mojo Jojo, because I want to bop everything. And get, like, get through this as quickly as possible. We're just going to go down this ladder real quick. Because I do believe... Okay, well, there's a Goldeen here, but I'm just going to Confusion. Like, it was that simple. Oh, wow, wow, wow. And another Dragonite! What is with these powerful attacks? And a Jinx. Okay, I'm just gonna... Okay, okay. Those guys have been finished up, but this is getting kind of scary because, like, I just don't understand. I, I really don't. Anyway, there's an item over here that I... Oh, well, hello, Golem. I'm paralyzed, and I'm still faster than Golem. That's saying something, guys. That is saying something. I found an HP up, which will definitely come in handy in the long run. And a Pidgeot. That would have been a nice addition to the team, I will say. Okay, okay. One thing I did forget to mention uh, in the last episode was that um, critical hits are determined by speed in this generation. So the faster the Pokemon, the higher their crit ratio, which is another reason why Alakazam is amazing, because his speed stat is through the roof, along with his special stats. So Psychic, with a high chance of critting, as well as being incredibly boosted by the crazy special attack that, like, Mojo Jojo already has. 
Oh, wow. Okay, I broke through. Going into that Squirtle. I would love to have a grass -A move right now. And a Magic Carp, last but not least. If I'm right, okay, it only has Splash. So, I mean, this is some free experience, even though it's like Magic Carp gives virtually no experience whatsoever. And a rare candy. Oh, no, I never meant to, I never meant to overshoot that. And an escape rope. It doesn't really... We could have had a Charmander! <coughs> Pardon me, I shouldn't be squealing. But anyway, we could have had a Charmander. See, look at that, a crit. Just as I was speaking about it, like... Mojo Jojo is already level 22. You know what, I'm getting kind of sick of the whole paralysis thing. Okay, apparently I can't use it inside of a cave, which is really stupid. Like, what is the point of even having teleport if you can't just use it wherever? Because, I mean, teleporting should not be restricted through caves. Like, I understand the whole cave wall concept, but it's not like you're flying. It's teleportation, for fuck's sakes. Like, how, how are you not getting this right? Like, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But anyway, we are going to go down and fight this guy, which I do believe is a super nerd, but... Like, I don't know. I don't know what his class is actually going to be, because it changes, right? He is a strong man. He certainly doesn't look like one. So anyway, we are going to fight Rapidash, and we're going to Confusion, and another crit. You see what I'm saying? Oh my god. And a Flareon. This guy is firepower happy. And I thought, that, oh yes, there is an item down here. It's just a potion. What was the purpose of going down there again? I can't remember. Oh well, we got free experience. Uh, we are actually going to use said rare candy. We're going to use said rare candy on Venom, actually. And we are actually going to keep going up here. And we could have had a star me as well. Could have had a star me as well. That's... Oh, Hunky Dory. Hunky Dory. Why don't you the bridge? Hunky Dory. So anyway, we are going to go fight this bitch. And we're going to bind up. Okay, 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 you die. And an Abra. Okay, bind, and you're dead. And we're going to go down this ladder as well, because I do want to go through every nook and cranny before, before the end of the episode. Magmar, I'm just going to bind... And we're going to go down here, and there's another item up here that we can actually grab. And I mean, even if Hitler and Lee actually did manage to hit us, we like we would tank anything that it would do to us. And look at that. That was easy. And now Bali's level 20. Now basically all we need to do is get the uh, other two under level Pokemon leveled up, which shouldn't take very long in this game. But on the next episode, I will actually do that. For now, they're going to stay like they are. I may actually lead with Venom for a little bit. But it is what it is. We're going to see now. What, okay, we're facing up against the Kadabra. So going into Mojo Jojo, my disable was disabled. Oh, the irony. And he's going to go into Krabby. Now it would be nice to have Absorb. But I'm going to switch out into... Okay, Baldi is definitely going to eat that up. And Bind is going to finish up the job. Going back into Venom. Venom is already gaining levels like at a decent rate. That was a crit and it didn't even do anything. Like, what is this? Anyway, we defeated another performer. And losing it does really stink. I, I will admit that completely. I will admit it wholeheartedly. Uh, no. I'm not dealing with a Charmander that knows Ember when I'm four times weakness to it. Okay, Primate. Okay, cool. Free experience. And he has a Weedle, which is actually okay. Let, I mean, my attack isn't that bad. Is that Blastoise? It is a Blastoise. Oh, and he knows Tackle. Ooh, so scary. And Venom is now officially level 11. And you're going to send out the Meowth as well. Which I think I can handle. And look at that. Just look at that. I defeated the nurse! I defeated the nurse! I'm finding these... Um, like, these trainer classes are getting more and more ridiculous. 
Oh no. No hurties. Will you stop? Uh, you know what? Uh, rather than waste a potion, I'm just gonna switch out and confusion. Moonstone is really nice because now I actually get to level up. After I level up Bieber, I'm actually going to evolve it into Wigglytuff. I am actually going to use a potion at you just in case I can't escape next time. Pardon me. See, look at this! Look at this! I hate being like four times weak to something. It just like puts me at so much risk if I can't escape. I thought there was something up here. Apparently not. We're gonna go this way. And I do believe there are more Team Rocket members down here. Okay, so we're just gonna fight this guy real quick. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go straight to Mojo Jojo. And broke through. Confusion, you're dead. Apparently Team Rocket Grunts are known as doctors. This world is really topsy-turvy if you ask me. Needle King. Go in Mojo Jojo. And Ninetales. Mojo Jojo. And apparently I got roared. Okay. 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 I don't like this at all. Okay. That was easy. And I learned Stun Spore with Tangela. Oh, no, 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 no. I learned Stun Spore with Venom, actually, which makes him all the more useful. And Magnetime once again. I'm gonna go for the Stun Spore. And that was just a waste of a potion. But anyway, you're fully paralyzed this turn. So, bitch, get bopped. Goodbye. Just gonna keep on walking, boys. Gonna keep on walking. And we're gonna fight this asshole. Uh, who has a Jigglypuff of his own. But I'm not going into Jigglypuff. Because my Jigglypuff is much weaker. Oh, come on. Let me wake up. That's one thing I hate about this game, is that there's an indefinite sleep period in this game. Why would I even attack you? Let's go for a confusion. And we are going to go up here and fight this nerd. Well, the strong man. Sorry. And we're gonna go for confusion. I'm gonna use that Farfetch, though. And I'm gonna switch back... And switch again. And look at this. This is just like easy. This is like easy pickings here. But thankfully, that's not dark type in this gen. This was before dark and steel type existed. Dome fossil? Helix fossil. Dome fossil? Yes, dome fossil. I always go dome fossil. Like, the dome fossil is just much better. Like, even way back in this gen, it's just better. And we are in the clear, actually. We are finally free of Mount Moon. We are free, okay? We are free at last. We are going to... I... No, I didn't screw up. I can still go up here. And there's nothing up here. Cool. I do believe there's a TM or something up this way, though. I wish I randomized all that shit. I should have. It would have been more interesting to randomize TMs, but I'd be too afraid that it would randomize HMs as well. Um, TM04, to my knowledge, is... I have no idea. Whirlwind. Thanks. You're useless. Mega Punch. Mojo Jojo and Beaver can learn it. Oh, well. We are going to run down here. And, you know what? I'm going to actually call this episode a really short one. And I'm going to grind up a bit. And, like, after that, I'm going to face my rival and all that fun stuff. And I'm actually going to face off against all of the trainers of the, of the Nugget Bridge prior to going to fight Misty. Even though I have the option of doing either or right now. But all I have to say is, in conclusion, if you are a new viewer and you want to enlist in Rebellion, all you need to do is suck up that subscribe button and heck, suck up that like button. Every little bit will help and I'll be back bigger and better Pokemon videos. So until next time, you guys.